All right, this is my favorite local store marketing idea. So if you're thinking about, boy, I gotta come up with three things I wanna do when I run out of here and cheer, this is probably one that you should consider. I did this at both Little Caesars and at Clark. At Little Caesars, I used to get people coming in every day, writing us letters saying, write me a check for $300 for my Little League team. I want Little Caesars to sponsor my Little League team. I could have just sat there and wrote checks all day and we would have been broke. I mean, you get all these requests, cheerleaders come in, can you donate $500 to whatever? You know, all these people would come in and I'd go, you know what, I hate saying no, but I can't write checks to all these people. There's gotta be a better way. Then I reflected back on when I played high school baseball and my coach said we need to raise money. So we were a really good team in Michigan. We were state ranked most of the time. And he had us go out and sell little plastic tumblers with ladybugs on them. And it was the most embarrassing thing that we ever did as a team. And not only did I have to go out to you, Rick, and say, Rick, you really need these, these tumblers. And you're like laughing like you are now. But then I'd have to take your order. Then I'd have to go and get all my inventory a month later. I'd have to track you down again and remind you that you bought these things. You know, and you'd have to cut me a check. And then half the check would have to go to the tumbler place and we'd only get half, and you're stuck with recyclables, basically. You're gonna throw those puppies right out. So I go, that's just crazy. I don't wanna relive that in my business life. So we came up with this coupon book. So now that the teams would come to us, and they'd say, I need 300 bucks. So we printed up a coupon book that had the best coupons out there. We were running a lot of Advo and all this print newspaper stuff, but we went you know, a dime or 25 cents cheaper than all that. Gave it a real value. And then, you know, we said it's got a value of 750 or seven bucks. That's what the value of this coupon book is. So then I would go, all right, this is the deal. I'm gonna give you 300 of these coupon books. You go out and sell them. Sell them for a dollar a piece, sell them for $5 a piece, whatever you can get. But if you sell them for a dollar a piece, there's your 300 bucks. Keep 100% of the proceeds. Totally fine with that. I'm also gonna give every kid on the team a squeezer bottle that says Little Caesars on it. So now when you're running around the leagues, in the, and you're in the dugout, every, every kid's promoting Little Caesars. My logo was on their jersey, and then at the end of the year, I gave them a certificate for 10 free pizzas to come in. So now I'm forcing them into the store with 10 free pizzas. If I add up the food cost for the pizzas, add up the cost to print the coupon books, the cost of the squeezers, and the logo, it was $32. So I was sponsoring 10 teams for the price of one. And, I had a, a sales force of 13 year olds running around Chicago in the United States selling coupon books. Non-union, non-payroll. <laughs> it was a wonderful thing. People in the community thought we were heroes. When you went to a, a Saturday afternoon t-ball game, there were kids running. We started sponsoring leagues. We had so many. We had a, we had 140 locations in the Chicagoland area. We distributed 750,000 coupon books in one year, the first year we did it. We had cheerleaders calling. We had teams calling us back saying, you know what, can I get 500 more? I want to get new baseball bats and, and you know, balls and everything. Like that. Sure, knock yourself out. It was like printing our own currency. We were like Ben Bernanke. <laughs> it was unbelievable. But these kids loved it. And we loved it because it was a way for us to kind of offset you know, some of our advertising costs because we had all these coupons rolling in. And then we had potentially new customers coming in redeeming coupons. We had all these kids coming in. They felt an allegiance to Little Caesars. They're coming in after the games. It was wonderful. So we did the same thing at Clark. I took it a step further. Those vendors down at the bottom actually purchased the page out of the book. So we were able to, to go from a two color coupon book at Little Caesars to a four color one at Clark and cut our costs in half again because the vendors picked up the cost of not only the coupon redemption, but the cost of the page and the printing. So now we were, we were sponsoring $300 teams for 16 bucks. It was a wonderful thing. And it was like printing our own currency. So if you have the opportunity to do something like this, you can turn what is normally a pain, people asking you for money, into something that is very positive, both in the community, you're able to give something back. And then if you've got a number of these coupon books, if the Easter Seals come to you and say, hey, can you give us a sponsorship or give us a, a check, you can use the same thing. If you got giveaways at a sporting event, it's nice just to have a bunch of this stuff. So it's a, it's a really good idea.